down. This video is based on an actual event. In the late 2000s, a 31-year-old worker employed at an oil refinery was welding in a large container used to store sulfur compounds. He was wearing basic personal protective equipment, which included a gown and a mask, which are insufficient to protect from hydrogen sulfide. No sulfur compounds were believed present at the time, but there were unknown fluid residues on the floor. At the outset of the welding process, white fumes began to form, and the worker noticed a rotten egg smell. The worker immediately felt dizzy and developed teary eyes, a runny nose, nausea, shortness of breath, chest tightness, and cough. These symptoms increased over the following hours. The worker began spitting blood as a result of bronchial hemorrhaging. Hang in there, man. I got EMT and hazmat on the way. First aid providers removed the worker from the scene and provided oxygen. This is oxygen to help you breathe better. And transported him to the emergency room. And then intensive care. The worker suffered serious respiratory problems as a result of his exposure. He eventually recovered his full breathing volume after a significant hospital stay and at home recuperation, which amounted to 40 days.